in the traditional concept of dating that if a man had a desire for a particular woman, he would show her in a series of actions to win her heart. Like how would he do that? He would first ask the father or parents if he would be allowed to court their daughter. Courting. If he got past this barrier of parental vetting and approval, he would ask the woman to court her. Okay, well, at least he did that. In that time, most were religious, and he had to do the first date of courting in the home of the parents, in the parlor. What the hell is a parlor? The second or maybe third date, he would take her out to dinner or maybe on a church picnic or wherever, and he would offer gifts like flowers, candy, maybe jewelry. Okay, and of course, pay for dates in a campaign to win his prize, his wife. She had some say-so most of the time, but often just followed the wish of the family as they voted for her best option to marry her. As time went on, courting continued, but the breakdown of the family structures, women's rights, and them having the ability to make as much money or more, in the case of African-American women, than African-American men, only remnants of traditional courtship still exist. Most still believe if the man asks the woman on a date, he's going to pay for the dates. But that is debated too. The bad side is many are playing on what's left of courtship and women are using men to pay for dinners, gifts, and money with no intentions of getting more serious and men are just using the minimal just to get sex. Integrity and honesty being at an all-time low with no family to vet or religious or community reputation to uphold. Yes, there are still women and men with high moral character and good intentions who just want to get relationships right and not get hurt in the process. No the core character and desire is the kind of people qualified to love is looking for and trying to build a community of whole relationships. Perhaps a modified version of courting can be done in these modern times. For really, courting is just a vetting process to see if you're compatible to move on to a more serious level of commitment. Even though the women were courted as the prize, the man had to come to courting showing he was the prize with his ability to care for the family and carry the genetic legacy. I come from good stuff. Add this concept to a modern equation. It's more than your ability for family duty but both the men and women want to be fulfilled and happy. Just having to live up to the duty of religion and family legacy is not enough for modern couples. Can they have their cake and eat it too? That is such a stupid saying. If you got cake, you want to eat it. Maybe I don't like your flavor. Well, if you don't like my flavor, don't take my cake. Let's put the traditional courting into a reality perspective because modern people have it twisted. Both the man and the woman had to be the prize to enter the courting process. The man, because he had the financial ability to court, and he had to be handsome and charming enough to convince the woman to be his wife and raise his children. The woman was a prize also. He would not come according if she didn't have the qualities to be a wife and mother. Let's be real. The traditional times and traditional marriages were supported by norms and expectation of that community. We do not have that mindset anymore as a collective society. Two individuals have to come and see the value and the prize of one another to form a different perspective. But in reality, we both have to see a prize, seeing the value and prize of each other. If men and women would court each other by doing their due diligence and seeing if they like the flavor of the cake, so to speak, you can see if you like the flavor, flavor by playing our game called the getting to know you experience, the game that's not a game compatibility game see the link in the description we both have to court each other and show that we are the prize and we want to win that prize by both winning each other's heart in the process of courting we are the prize we are the family and community foundation that carries the legacy of forever in our union in our quest to being qualified to love visit qualifiedtolove.org and see more of how we are creating a community of effective, functional, loving, and whole relationships between black men and black women.